Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio and I have a reservoir to put colors in and I scored a piece of plastic because I couldn't find my scoop because I want to scoop. I'm going to get on with this. I've got a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas over here that I'm going to need to add mead and black paint to as a base. I'm going to use a little bit of color in the bottom of this pan to float my other colors on top of occurs to me I should have probably just poured them out and I should have checked the tip on this first too because <laughs> it's not coming out very quickly okay well we'll deal with that that is French silk it's a prison pour this is saffron also a prison pour This is sour lemon with some orange crush in it. This is pink diamond. I got my colors out in advance. This is, that was a prison pour. This is a primary element. This is, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted, um, Cranberry, excuse me, crab apple. And then I'm going to use some of my new favorite Rhapsody Rose, which I believe was a primary element. But I couldn't swear to it, so you'll have to ask someone. This is Wild Orchid. It's definitely a purple theme. That is not coming out very quickly. I should have checked that tip especially because I'm going to need that. Of course, I'm also running it, running low on it. I'm going to use some Egyptian blue. This is, I think it's a prison pour. <laughs> Too many colors recently. And this is a primary element. This is called Snapdragon. some of these out of the way so it can work and I think I'm going to use a little bit of my Decord Americana 24 karat gold that I've had languishing that I want to use up it's mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800 Now, I'd like that to be on a level surface, but I don't know how well, how many level surfaces I actually have. My turntable might be level, but I'm not sure about anything else. So that, like, is the 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. Let's see if I can get some elbow room in here going. I don't mind if I have a substantial amount of paint. I need a certain amount of paint to encourage cells and the movement of the movement of the other paint. That is mead and black paint. This is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, best paint spreading tool I know of. It will show me if there's anything in there, in which case the tweezers that I'll use if I find anything I have to remove are on my Amazon link. They are very sharp and very adept at removing little indisposed, ind excuse me, indiscreet items from my paint. Now this is all based on um, a video I watched myself earlier from the 6000 series. Doesn't mean there's 6000 paintings, it just means there's a lot of file numbers with photo for photographs. I'm not going to worry about my edge right now because I need to get on with this, but I'd like to make sure that the paint is all the way to the edge. And I think I've succeeded. I think. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. container that I mixed my paint with before this also in the bucket. All right, so wow, that took a while. 
So I'm going to go from the blue to the red. Just gonna use up my extra paint. Whoa, that wasn't my plan. Wasn't my plan at all. I gotta do something about that right now. Fortunately, but black paint is very lenient. So we'll just continue. And remember to put my hand underneath. If I have a copious amount of paint in my scoop. And I'm just going to keep using my paint up. Might want a little more blue. Not what I intended to do to begin with, but it's okay. I kind of like the idea of using more of my paint up than I had in mind. All right, so now what I want to do is turn that scoop over and find a card to rest on top of the paint so it will stay somewhat fresh. I'll put my scoop down somewhere else it can drain. And now it's time to grab I did just do that. Yes I did. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. Can she fix it? That's the question. I probably can never get that black out of there. But it looks better than it did. So let's not do that again. That's two faux pas. Alright, I have my cap. Now my question for myself is, do I have enough wild orchid? But mostly I want to make sure that my tip is clear so I can get what I have out. I did it. Cool. Move that blue somewhere else. I mixed up some Pebeo iridescent blue green, the Floetrol GAC 800 mixture, and I'm tempted to use it. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to. Whoops. Oh, that was interesting. didn't leave myself enough keyhole space in between anything. 
to actually swipe very easily. Move this paint out of here. Grab myself a little dish. Take the paint off my tweezers in case I might need them in a moment, which is always possible. Grab some black paint. Some Amsterdam black and Aussie Floetrol. And I do believe I have a couple of strips least and I'm just going to go down in between everything. And I will wipe off, get that out of here. I need a scrape dish, there's no doubt about it. Or at least something to wipe off my... Put that wet rag right there. The cells are beginning to come up. don't have a lot of paint in between, but I have some. I may tip this, I may not. It's got good interesting texture and I like the colors. I may do what I did in the last piece and use something to pull like a tongue depressor or a spatula, pull down through. The cells in between are kind of subtle because I'm not really pulling through the colors, although I could. That wasn't the plan for this piece. I keep dragging my finger through things though. It's just gonna have to be one of those times. Things are way less than perfect. I must be feeling rushed. I want a wider card for that. Do I have one or do I need to cut one? Well, I've got something I can use. Not sure there was really enough paint on that. Go back and put some more in there. Okay, so now it's time, and I think I'm going to indulge myself in. spatula as opposed to the stick. Oh, there's a bubble. Now it's a slash and a bubble. over the top of those. Just leave some textural, some mark making. It's not a, I want to say that it's not a particularly less than organic <laughs> way to do things because everything is looking a little different. The black does come through because it's wet. It would be a different look if it were dry. There's no telling how many drags I'm going to put in there. 
I've got a toothy tool too. I just never I didn't think of it until now. They kind of remind me of people. <laughs> that happens quite frequently. I can get rid of that weird mark if I, if I swipe through. It's different, but it's kind of fun. A few different methods. I could grab a basting brush and that would probably change things too. I want some more gold there. And a straw. I've got three minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. I invite you to come visit my website by finding the link tree underneath Show More. So it's a bizarre piece, but it's my piece. I kind of want to put um, some gold on the top and swipe it up. But I'm not sure why I would do that. And I have some. I could try it. Let's just do it. Let's use the cell activator too. Alright, I'm going to do that all the way across. A little bit more gold everywhere. Wherever it needs it. If I run out of time, I run out of time. First time I did this, I did it with um, black enamel, which you could replace the Aussie Flow Troll with, I believe. I don't know if it absolutely needed to have the, the swiped poles, but I like it, so I'm good. Might need a little more cell activator. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Know that I have 28 lists of 100 videos. You can find them by going to playlists, all playlists, created playlists on my YouTube channel. You can find them. If you have questions for me, please feel free to ask. I do sell my artwork and I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I hope I didn't eradicate too much of that gold. I really wanted to leave some left. But I got the effect I was looking for, the uneven effect. I've got one minute to tell you guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate your kind words and your comments. Keep my morale boosted. Thank you so much for being here at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're here actually at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you won't be putting up with any commercials. I don't know if anybody ever tells you that or not, but it would have to be at the moment. So I'm not sure which the best way up is, but right now I'm not going to worry about it too much. There might be a few more lines and things because I like dredging up the other paint. But it does also fix a world of indiscretions. There. I'm going to quick like a bunny shimmer this at you if I can and use a torch briefly. I think I 